All right, we're just going to go ahead and scratch just a couple lines on there to use as a reference when we're doing our milling. We're going to go ahead and thin out the top se top section here. We're going to mill out both sides. So I've already got this set on three and a half because that's what the distance is from the bottom to the edge. It's three and a half. So let's go ahead and do that. Just making a line there. It's all right. That'll work. And then, of course, we can measure too with our calipers. All right. So we're going to go ahead and mill this first. And I wanted to go ahead and mill the uh, do the split on this. I found the cutter. I found this over in my box. Now I can't remember if this is this was one of my old ones that I already had, or if somebody gave this to me. I just can't remember now. They're all. They're all piling up in them boxes, so I'm just lost track of who's giving me what. But um, we're going to use this to go across here and split this thing, and it's the perfect size. I love my scale. I like I like to go in there about three inches, and this will give me right at right where the right where the spacer is going to be. It'll give us a three inch depth of cut there. All right, but I wanted to do it with the vertical head. And I don't have a stub arbor to hold this in the vertical head. So the only way I can hold this is with an arbor and do it in horizontal. So we'll do that up last because I'll have to take the head, the vertical head off, and we'll stand this up, probably uh, clamp it. We might clamp it to an angle plate. I'm not sure yet. And, um, and go in there that way and uh, cut it. So let's go ahead and get going. All right, guys, we got it. I've got it all set up. And I'm going to be making two passes across it using the uh, Y axis. Um, I'll make two cuts, 300 thousandths a pass, and to bring it down where we need. Uh, we got to take uh, approximately 600 thousandths off each side to bring me to the thickness that I want. Okay. I'm going to use a roughing shell mill there. feeding that last bit there. All right, I made a couple changes. I went ahead and this is the cutter I was using and I noticed it was it was leaving a pretty rough finish. And it's still cutting but it's it's gotten pretty worn out. It needs to be resharpened. So I took this one off and I put put one of them on this is one of the flea market scores not flea market uh, uh, eBay bought that off eBay so we're gonna continue on with that when it should be good and sharp I've got the uh, the distance from here to here is four and a quarter so we've got it set there on the uh, digital readout and I've touched off here so we're gonna go ahead and make a second cut across here Move the coolant around just a little bit.
That's two inches a minute. Alright, we moved back over and brought it up our other 300,000. So here we go. We're going to make our uh, two final passes across here. There she is. Move the thing off. Okay. Alright, so we got our first side done. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this deburred. And I'm going to set it down in there. We're going to do the same thing on the other side, okay? So I need to get a little charge on the battery. It's about to die on me. And, and I'll show you some more cutting in a little while. Alright, we got her flipped over. I've got it deburred and we're getting ready to uh, start the other, the other side here. Okay, this is going to be the final cut crossed here, and I've already checked it here. We're right on size, one and five sixteenths. I 
kick the feed rate up too. We're at two and three quarter inch per minute. So it's really slinging the chips now. You can see I got quite a mess to clean up. Do some deburring. Got to do some deburring, get rid of the sharp edges here, and then we're going to move on. We still got to do the um, still got to put the split in it, the two holes, and of course bore it for the bearing. Okay, so. Let me uh, pull it out of there. We'll get a shot, kind of compare the two. 